We're going to be running the numbers on a bird deal plus going over some of your questions. Shecky from California, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to the MLS Search Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. I'll be your host. And today I'm working with my dude, Shecky. Man, you... uh. You're an investor. You've been with us here at Holton Wise for quite some time. You got uh, three properties in the portfolio, and you want to do another round of investing, growing it up. And you also own some properties out there in Gary, Indiana. I think you told me you own like five, seven. You own seven of them in Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Couldn't get that out. Uh, and what you want to do, bro, you want to you wanna do some burrs in this round, right? You got $225,000 to work with. And uh, we're looking to get you a cash-on-cash cash return of at least 10%. I think I can hit that for you, brother. And uh, you give me some questions, too. And I just want to go over those first before I even get into your property real quick. Let me knock these out because these were great questions. I like these. Okay. Now, one of your questions, because you're thinking about doing a portfolio loan, right? You got the seven properties in Gary, Indiana. You got three properties here in uh, Cleveland already. We're, we're going to get you, you know, a big set of some more properties, right? We're doing another round of investing. So you're going to end up with a bunch of properties. And some of them, like this one, this Burr, you're going to individually do this one. But some of the other ones you already own, you might be thinking about just doing one big portfolio loan. So you're asking me as far as interest rates and everything goes. Well, first, you're going to want to talk to my, my set of lenders, right? Sales at HoldenWise.com. Anybody else that's out there that wants to talk to my lenders, we have lenders who will loan on individual properties, commercial properties, portfolio loans. We got it all. If you want that list, I'll give it to you for free. Sales at HoldenWise.com. Shecky, I'm going to email that to you. You're going to want to talk to them. But typically what we're seeing, we're seeing them a little higher than what you're going to see in your traditional residential loan. So I would say seven, eight, nine percent is probably fair, but you know that could change uh, uh, on the drop of a dime and everybody's a little different. So we, we provide you guys with multiple people to talk to. So definitely check them out. And one other thing I want to make sure you're aware of, typically when they do this, right, they're looking to loan approximately 70 to 75% of the value of your portfolio. And they don't like to do these loans unless the loan is at least $500,000. So if you do the math, I believe that's going to need to put your portfolio value in probably like the $700,000 range, something something around there, right? So I don't you'll have to grab a calculator to get the exact numbers, but you got to bear that in mind, right? They don't like to do these portfolio loans on like three little single family homes and write like a like a $90,000 loan, right? They don't want to do that, right? When uh, lenders are looking at their book of business, they like them to be bigger. So we're, they're looking for at least a loan value of 500 k and your portfolio value needs to be higher than that because they need you to keep equity in the deal. They need skin in the game from you, right? They don't want, they're not just going to loan you the full value, right? That would be crazy. That's too risky, right? So that is one of your questions, and in addition to that, what I want to do now, brother, I want to jump into the house because it looks like that pretty much, off the notes I took, that pretty much clears up uh, any of your questions outside of the house. So let's jump into it now, dude. All righty. All right. 538 Railroad Street, Painesville, 44077. Listed a little bit over a month ago, about six weeks ago, okay? 64,900. And this is just a... Uh, a cool little ugly duckling, right? This, this little ugly-ass little house. But that, that's the name of the game, right? We're trying to do a burr right now. We, we want to find little ugly houses, okay? You got some crap from the previous occupant. That's going to stay. You know, as far as these kitchen cabinets go, uh, you know... The cabinets look to be solid, but we're probably going to want to do a little bit of work. Like, what the hell's going on here, dude? We got, like, uh, you know, the counter's up here, and then this this little thing is lower. Like, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on right there. So we're going to have to, you know, button some stuff up, pretty some stuff up, make it look nice, right? I mean, 
it's salvageable. We, we but we wanna we wanna really spruce it up. One thing that is nice though, right? This furnace this is pretty much brand new furnace according to the listing agent. We got a brand new furnace in here, and then that's probably about five years old. So that's some of our big ticket items we don't really need to worry about. This electrical panel right here, according to the listing agent, we also have an update here as well. Just let me read you what the uh, listing agent said actually. This bungalow has a new furnace, 2020, a newer plumbing and electrical. Bathroom recently remodeled, good starter home or investment property. Located close to many amenities and business district. Now, let me go back to that bathroom real quick. Because, uh, you know, look, here's the deal. Is this, like, the worst bathroom I've ever seen? No. Uh it, Am I excited about this bathroom? Not particularly. I mean, look at the, the, the tub surround. Like, they're saying, oh, recently renovated. I mean, that looks pretty grimy to me. Uh, this is, you know, this is okay. I'm not really feeling the color. It doesn't really match what's going on in the rest of the house. So I still want to do some serious work up in this house, right? So this is what I think we could do. This is what I think. This is what I want to do. Let me pull this picture off, okay? It's listed at $64,900. you are a cash buyer. You're an investor. You're ready to rock and roll. This house is ugly, right? They're saying they renovated this, and uh, it looks grimy. I don't think people are excited about this. So I think there's not a lot of competition, especially competition with cash buyers. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get aggressive, bro. I want to come in and try to pick this up for you for fifty grand, And then I want to do a real reno. I want to make it look nice, man. I want to spend twenty grand, okay? Twenty grand. Now with that twenty grand, what I want to spend it on is the cosmetics. I want to go in, get us nice hardwood floors, paint everything the same color, like none of this crap. Like we got in the in the kitchen or in the bathroom rather, we got baby blue. Over here we got some ugly old like dated brown. We're back to baby blue over here. I don't know what the hell's going on in this screened in porch but like i'm guessing the people that lived here uh were probably people that lived here for many years and they smoked a lot you can see that the uh the ceiling up there is all yellowed out right that's gross uh we got just i mean like look it's just you know it's gross it's like a half-ass cosmetic reno it doesn't look good right so we're gonna want to spend 20 fix up that kitchen remember that kitchen counter that has like two different levels we're gonna make it look legit okay we don't have to worry about spending a bunch of money on the electrical or the plumbing we don't have to worry about spending a bunch of money on the furnace right that's nice so 20k should get us a badass good looking property not a little half-ass uh reno right so we'd be all in for 70 we do that, we get ourselves a nice stable tenant, because this is a nice little stable neighborhood, man. That tenant's going to be paying a 1000 bucks a month, approximately, right? I mean, guys, every house is a little different, right? You know, a lot of these three-bedroom homes in a lot of these neighborhoods, we're getting around a 1000 but, like, you know, when we go Section 8 or if we go cash, I mean, that could shake out a little differently. You know, one house might be, like, 995 another one might be, like, 999 1010 985 stuff like that, right? But generally about a 1000 okay? So approximately a thousand is going to come in. I anticipate approximately four eighty-five going out the door. I mean, you're familiar with the uh, the types of costs, right? You've been doing this a while. You got seven properties in Indiana. You got three with us. You know the deal. You know that this is an average. So approximately five fifteen or so will be the NOI. Now, I just want to be really conservative here, right? I, I'm saying we're all into this thing for seventy. Let's just say it appraises at seventy-five. I mean, we might get. Lucky, and it goes a little bit higher. But when I do these, I can't always, like, you know, pinpoint what the appraiser's going to do, right? Sometimes appraisers, man, they, th they throw you a curveball, and they do something crazy. So what I like to do when I give you guys the uh, the after repair value, these, I like to give you guys the price that I know I could sell it for, right? Like, sometimes appraisers, they go higher. Sometimes they go lower. But I know... You give me a renovated home in this particular neighborhood, tenant paying a thousand bucks. I know I'm selling that for 75 G's all day. So, you know, I can't exactly tell you the dollar that every specific appraiser is going to do, but that's 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 the value right there, guys. Like, I mean, <laughs> I've had houses appraised by different appraisers. I had one duplex one time get appraised by two appraisers, and they had a forty thousand dollar difference. One guy appraised it at eighty, the other guy appraised it at one hundred twenty. Right? So not all appraisers are created equal, but about seventy five G's is the value here. Okay, so that's conservative. 
you know, it could appraise a little higher, but let's say it does appraise for 75 G's. Of your 70, the bank, if we're doing just like my regular traditional loan, they'll loan you back $56,250. Now, that's not the portfolio loan we were talking about earlier, right? This would be just a, you do this one on its own, okay? Just a 30-year loan, right? Of that, if they're giving you back 56250 dollars dude, that means you're only into this thing for $13,750, which is actually more than double what you asked me to provide you. You asked me to provide you a 10% cash on cash return. What we've done here, if it all panned out like that, that's going to be an average return on your investment of 24%. And now one other thing I want to specify to you because you have your portfolio with us here and uh, you haven't experienced this yet. As far as the location, right, you have not bought anything in Painesville thus far. So I'm going to give you just a little insight because you know I am all about transparency. Okay. Now, as you can see from the map, Painesville is a little farther away from Cleveland. Okay. This is up here in Lake County, right? Holton Wise, we are right here. Uh, our property management office where all the techs work out of and stuff, it's literally in a, it's in a suburb called Parma. It's across the street, right? Across the street is, is Cleveland, right? So we are Cleveland. Anything that is going to be a little bit further away, right? So Cleveland, Parma, they are in Cuyahoga County. We will manage anything in Cuyahoga County plus the surrounding counties. So if the surrounding counties touch Cuyahoga County, we'll manage it. Paysville is in a county called Lake County, right? So it's outside of Cuyahoga County. Anything outside of Cuyahoga County, we're going to have a small surcharge. That surcharge is not a monthly fee. It's not, it's not uh, a fee that you pay every single month. It's just a fee when I have to physically send one of my guys out to your house, right? Because we have to drive pretty far. I mean, that's probably like a 45-minute drive right there, right? So we have additional drive time. So... That fee is explained. It's in our property management contract. It's for any property that's located outside of Cuyahoga County. Just any time our guys go out there, you go to the property management fact on HoltonWise.com. You could download our property management agreement. All of our fees are in there, guys. We are all about transparency here. So when you're buying something that's outside of Cuyahoga County, remember to factor the fact that you're going to have to pay additional surcharges when feet people need to get out to the house. But here's the cool thing. All your other properties, they're in Cuyahoga County, right? The tax basis in the municipalities in Cuyahoga County, higher than those in Lake County, right? So you are more than going to make up for those surcharges with the lower taxes. In addition, what's pretty cool, now, as you see over here, I got my Trump head, I got my Bernie Sanders head with the, uh, the communist uh, stuff here, right? We got the uh, AOC right here. People, uh, sometimes they harp on me, they're like, yo, what's up with all the political stuff, this or that? People know that I'm a Trump fan, and you know, if you guys follow me on some of my other social media, you guys know I talk about it a lot. People are like, what the hell does that have to do with real estate? Guys, you're crazy if you don't think real estate and politics have to do with each other. And uh, here's the thing. Red municipalities, guys, red municipalities, they're a lot more landlord friendly than blue municipalities. So in Cuyahoga County, we're fairly landlord friendly, but sometimes they get a little funky, right? Every now and again, the folks over in Cleveland Heights... The judges get a little weird. Uh, every once in a while, Lakewood, we, we see them get a little weird. Lake County, guys, there's a lot of rural stuff out in Lake County. That is really landlord-friendly. So, yes, we have the surcharge, but what we're going to see out in Lake County, way lower taxes because, you know, lower taxes, that's what comes with, you know, red areas, right? And way more friendly landlord-tenant policy. So if you ever end up in a situation where we got to evict folks, things of that nature... You want to be in a red community. So those things are really huge benefits that are going to far outweigh uh, the surcharges that we have to spend when we're sending people out to the home. So, Shecky, I think this one is going to work for you, bro. I want to add this one to your portfolio. So just reply to the private email. Let us know what you want to do. If for some reason you're not feeling this one, that's totally cool. We've contracted to do several other videos. So just let us know, and uh, we'll go back to the drawing board, and we'll see what we can work out. Everybody else, before we exit the show for the day, if you're watching this and you're like, hey, man, this seems pretty cool. I like the transparency. I'd like to work with this guy. I like the no fluff, right? HoltonWise.com, okay? Go to Property Search for Sale tab. You can work with uh, my folks a couple different ways. Option one, 
the Investment Properties for Sale show. It's another show we run here on Holton Wise TV. Check it out. If you're an investor who doesn't need a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, you just know what you want, you just want to make bids, watch that show. Uh, subscribe on the email, uh, the email list. We got the ability for you to subscribe there. We'll send the show to you every day at 1 o'clock. We got property tours. That's what we're selling. We're the number one seller of rentals out here in Cleveland. There's not going to be any specification to you, though, right? You're just going to get the same show everybody gets at 1 o'clock, and you're going to have to bid against the other investors, right? We get multiple offers on all those properties. But if you want to do what we're seeing today, you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you want to tell me your budget, your wants, your needs, risk tolerance, things of that nature, you want to be here. MLS Search and Analysis Show, you click that, you go over our packages, you can start with one property, we'll work together uh, for, you know, multiple property packages. We got four packs, 10 packs, two packs, the whole nine. It really creates this long-term relationship. And then the last thing you guys could do is if you just want my direct broker at MLS access, we got packages starting at 10 bucks. Go ahead and click that link. You could get it. That is all I've got for you guys today. As always, I'm James Wise of Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.